welcome back to Chinese art, brush painting, and signature scroll stamps. I want to show you how to use the scroll stamp with red paint instead of ink. So if you don't have an ink pad, you can very easily create the same effect using the red acrylic paint. I've got my sample scroll here and first if your picture that you made, if you did it on the sketch paper and you tore it out of that pad, that sketch pad, the rice paper may not be even. I did not tear mine very well so I'm just going to use my scissors from the box to cut the bottom to make it straighter before I stamp it. Find your acrylic brushes. So you want to take the biggest flat brush from your set. We're not using the bamboo brushes, so we want to use the acrylic brush. Take your acrylic paint set and take out the red color. So I think there's two red. I just took out the darker red one. I think it's called Brilliant Red. And then get out a paper plate. And to open it for the first time, there is a, a point on the cap. You can't see mine that well because it's got paint on it. But um, what you do is you just flip the cap upside down and that pointed part is going to dig into the foil and then that will open up the paint. So you just put the lid right on top of it and that will open it for you. Then you just need a drop of the paint on your paper plate. Use your flat brush and just try to even the paint out to about the size of your stamp. So mine is about a square, so that's about the size. I don't really need any bigger than that. And try to make it pretty even all over using the flat brush. Then take your eraser stamp. And I have marked mine using the Sharpie because I tried a few uh, practices and I was doing it the uh, upside down. But then I just drew some arrows so I know this is this side up and then the right side of my letter K. So if that matters for you, the orientation, you can make some arrow marks on the other side of the stamp. Now I know I need to lay it down like this, so I'm gonna lay it down over my paint and push it down. E er san si wu liu qi ba jiu shi. And then lift it up and make sure the paint is evenly covered. Okay, then I'm gonna lay it down using my arrows onto my picture. And so now you can count with me. E er san si wu liu qi ba jiu shi. And you wanna make sure that you're pressing hard when you do that. Then slowly lift it up. And I see I didn't get enough paint on it this time. And part of my eraser came off. So I'm going to try that again with a little more paint. So you probably want to do this on some practice paper before you do it on your final artwork. Okay, so let me try it again using my arrows. Give it one final hard push and then lift it up. And I think what's happening is this rice paper is not soaking in as well because when I did it on earlier on my sketch paper, it was coming out, the red was coming out better. This time I'm going to try brushing it on. And when you, if you do it that way, I'm just going to try to just do it on the raised areas and not get the paint into underneath the areas that I don't want it on. Okay, so I'm going to try to cover the whole thing with my flat brush. Okay, and this time, using my arrows again, get the orientation right. Let's see if that comes out better. E er san si wu liu qi ba jiu shi. Okay, that came out better that time. And again, different kinds of paper may have different effects. So this is the rice paper. If you're doing it on the manila paper, uh, I think the paint should soak in better. So it just depends on, so try doing some practice runs before you do your final one. So you could try doing it the first way or the second method, which is brushing the paint directly onto the eraser. And then you can wash the paint off just in the sink after you've washed off your brush, you can just run it under the sink and wash that paint right off. 
And that's it for our stamping.